what we will be doing in order to solve this question, let's understand this question. We have force F acting on the tree, which is equal to two kilonewton. And this force is acting in this direction. And as far as this force is concerned, this force is acting at a point which is at a distance 12 meter from point O. And we have been asked to calculate the moment of this force about an axis passing through point O. We know in order to calculate the moment of this force F, first of all, we will first of all see by visual inspection, what is the line of action of this force? This is the line of action of the force, okay? So from point O, the point from where we have to measure the moment, we will draw the radius vector. So our radius vector will be like this, okay? So this is the radius vector. This is the radius vector. This is the radius vector between point O and the line of action of this force, okay? Now, how much is this radius vector? This radius vector is equal to, this radius vector is, the magnitude of this radius vector is 12 meter. So we'll write this as it's 12 meter. And this 12 meter vector, the direction is, it's acting along Z axis. So we will write it. So we will write it. This is acting along Z axis. We'll write this as 12 meter K cap, okay? So this is how the, this is how it behaves, okay? So now, after doing this, this is our radius vector. Now, we have to talk about this F. As far as F is concerned, uh, we have to write this F in terms of its magnitude and direction. Its magnitude is two kilonewton. What about its direction? We know if we have a force F, it's equal to magnitude and its magnitude is two kilonewtons. So we'll write this as two kilonewton multiplied by the direction. Its direction is it's acting in this direction. This direction is neither X axis nor Y axis nor Z axis. So we cannot write this as I cap, J cap or K cap. So what we will write, we will say, let the unit vector be in the direction AB be represented by U cap or N cap. Okay, let's say this is U cap. This is the unit vector drawn from A to B. So we'll write this as unit vector from A to B. Okay, so its magnitude of vector is two kilonewton and its direction is UAB, which can further be written as this is two kilonewton, this is two kilonewton multiplied by the unit vector from A to B. The unit vector from A to B, we can write the unit vector from A to B as we have learned in the previous classes in terms of the in terms of the position coordinates. Okay, so if you look at point A. The position coordinates of point A are, it does not have an X coordinate, so it's X is zero, it's Y is zero, and it's Y coordinate is 12 meters. So these are the coordinates of our point A. And as far as point B is concerned, the coordinates are point B are, along X axis, the point B is four meter, along Y axis, the point B is 12 meter, and about Z axis, the point B does not have a Z coordinate. So these are the coordinates of point B. Now the unit vector from A to B will be this minus this, that is four, minus zero i cap, that is four i cap, then 12 minus zero, that is plus 12 i cap, 12 j cap, this is long z, j axis, y axis, and zero minus 12, that is minus 12 k cap, whole divided by the magnitude of this vector. This is the vector between A and B. Divide this vector by its magnitude, we'll get the unit vector from A to B. So that will be under root of four square, plus 12 square plus minus 12 square, okay? So this will be the unit vector. And you know, so our force vector is now, our force vector is now two kilonewton is its magnitude and this is its direction, okay? And this is what has been written here, okay? So F is equal to two kilonewton multiplied by the unit vector in the direction from A to B. And this is our force vector, so this is, the force vector. So once you solve this, okay, you will get this. So this is our force vector. So now, how do we measure the moment? The moment, the magnitude of the moment, the, sorry, the moment about point O is equal to the torque about point O, which is equal to R cross, which is equal to R cross F. It is the cross product between R and F, okay? So how do we measure the cross product? What you do, you have to take a determinant, okay? First of all, write the coordinates of R. The coordinates of R are, it does not have, it does not have an X coordinate, so it is zero. So first you write 
i cap j cap and k cap write down three vectors this is what you have done in your lower classes so i cap first of all write r vector in terms of its i j and k components r vector does not have an x component so it is zero r vector does not have a y component so it is zero r com r vector does not have a k component oh sorry r vector does have a k component that is 12 meter so we'll write this as 12 okay what about f look at f the magnitude of f along x axis is 0 0.4588 so we'll write this as 0 0.4588 okay so this has been written this is here this is here so then the j component of this force is 1.36 that has been written here so you can write it here 1.36 and the k component of the force is equal to minus 1.36 write down minus 1.36 okay so this is how you have to take the cross product between r a and f now again as we go ahead as you go ahead in order to calculate the moment in order to calculate this moment now this moment is equal to r a cross f so what you do first of all now you have to solve this determinant we know how to solve the determinant okay so first of all we'll be multiplying by zero this is zero into this much minus 12 into this much okay that is here along i cap then first of all we'll be taking you have to delete this and this so what remains is zero multiplied by this that is here minus this multiplied by this that is here and this is along i cap the second is we will be deleting this okay so we are obtaining uh, so what we have obtained is we'll be having so as we are now deleting this okay so we have zero multiplied by this so zero multiplied by this and 12 multiplied minus 12 multiplied by this that is here okay and this is along j cap the first multiplication is to be taken positive the second one is to be taken negative and the third one will be and the third will be we will be you know uh, we'll be neglecting this it is zero multiplied by zero minus zero multiplied by zero along k cap that is this so once you solve this vector, you will get this is equal to minus 16.5 i cap plus 5.51 j cap. Therefore, the moment which is created by this force about an axis passing through point O is 1.65 i cap plus 5.51 j cap. That is that moment, the moment which is created by this force about an axis passing through point O, that force will have two components one component is along x axis another component is along uh, another component is along uh, you know uh, this uh, j axis okay this is how we have to solve the moment about a point o just write down the force and uh, draw the radius vector take the cross product you will get the moment okay thank you